What is going on, everybody? It is me, your boy Perucci. We are back with another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. Today's Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video. We are going to be doing. Oh, dude, <laughs> I forgot I recorded myself turning off the animations because, dude, obviously we have the intro. And then, oh, dude, it would have been so annoying, at least for me, in my opinion, because I, I think this is probably like my fourth attempt or something like that when uh, trying to complete the uh, these two last two missions that I have to complete. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm like, dude, I, I don't want to deal with these animations. I'd rather just have them turned off and then w whenever I beat it, I beat it. And it turns out it, was, it didn't take that long, honestly. Uh, but yeah, guys, how are you guys doing? Hopefully all you guys are doing fan freaking, uh, fan freaking fantastic. That is the most important thing of any of my freaking videos, of course, is you guys. But yeah, um, here, uh, I feel like, dude, my one concern was uh, if I was going to be able to beat this within four turns. I really wanted to get both of these missions done in one video because I feel like it was possible. But... I think we needed to have at least one of these guys be able to survive for like another turn or maybe like another like uh, an extra two uh, two or three super attacks. So one of the other units could be able to build up like the GT duo or the Majin Buu duo, which we thankfully have set up for the next rotation. But it's like, dude, these guys are these GT duos are just so ruthless, dude, in the first in the second slot, second or third slot, because obviously um, not only are they get, uh, stacking attack for their 12 key and 18 key super attack, but um, they are getting an extra attack plus 100 percent. And one, also one, one important thing, too, that's really good about these guys is they are getting extra damage reduction, too, with, with each super attack that they're launching. So that's really helpful. And I definitely decided to keep the Bulma on rotation because not only is she guarding, but uh, I definitely want to have her support activated for, you know, for the two rotations that she does, because I think she gives like, I probably have to look this up because I don't remember, uh, but I'm just going to make up a random number until I'm, I'm able to find the freaking, what's I'm going to call it, the right uh, st statistics or the right stats of uh, what she gives out. But yeah, the team I brought in here, actually, uh, dude, before I brought in the Super Saiyan 4 duos, as you can see here, dude, I don't know for whatever reason, I had, I, I had the smartest idea to bring freaking, what's I'm going to call it, the easy A what's it called easy age uh uh turtles movie uh goku and i'm like dude why am i bringing this guy i i thought i thought it was a good idea at the moment because i, I was trying to find like power of wishes um power of wishes allies to be able to bring for this team and of course i needed physical because uh, one of the missions you need to have four physical units and the other one in the other mission well you have to have four physical units at least on your team and you have to complete it within five turns and then the uh mission e i think it was or I think it was probably that was mission E and mission D is to complete this uh, stage with, with within four turns without super items uh, support items, which I feel like most people already understand that for these missions you have to complete it without support items, which I did not. If you've forgotten that in the last uh, extra missions, dude, <laughs> I use a support item and then I'm like, dude, why didn't I complete the other mission? And it turns out that I cannot use support. Items. Dude, I'm surprised that Bulma took quite the amount of damage, but that is probably because she did not super attack because in her super attack, she gains a what's an, or her 18 key super attack. She greatly raises her attack and defense and even her 12 key super attack, which we we're getting because I'm pretty sure. If I remember, if I recall, I I, I captured because at least seven key spheres. Because I think with seven key spheres, you at least get, uh, you get to launch an additional super attack. So, oh no, her all oh, her passive all allies key plus three in attack and defense plus thirty seven percent. I mean, excluding herself, but it's at least for two turns with five or more key spheres, and then yeah, launch an additional super attack with seven or more key spheres. That is really freaking good, dude. Freaking thirty seven percent and then key plus three, but. Yeah, I also have brought up this freaking, what's it called, this uh, Turtles Goku. I don't know why I, I thought he was a good idea to bring as a easy A unit. Because, look, man, obviously these physical units are not going to be able to do as much damage. The only physical unit that I think was is probably going to do somewhat of damage or, you know, be able to make a dent into these guys' health is the Super Saiyan God Goku. If, you know, we get a good amount of freaking key spheres to, you know, for him to do a, a, a launch and additional super. Is it guaranteed? I'm not too sure if it's guaranteed if you, what's I'm gonna call it, you get a certain amount of key spheres. Because I know he guards and he has a chance of evading. So let me see over here. Uh, when attacking me, chance of evading enemies attack. Uh, oh, so it's already included. And then plus an additional attack and defense of 50%. And chance of evading enemies, uh, enemies attack, including super attack, plus 30% with three or more key spheres obtained. Oh, yeah. And then launching an additional super attack and guards all attacks with six or more key spheres. And then got you. And then plus an additional attack plus 50%. Starting from the turn in which the character performs the fourth super attack. Got you. Okay, okay, okay. But yeah, and then here, this is the rotation where I was like, dude, oh my god, it's either all or nothing because, like I said, one of the the mission D is that you have to complete this within, uh, and as you could as you see there, we didn't launch as many super attacks with these guys, so we were we took a little bit of damage there. But yeah, here I'm like, dude, if we don't complete this within four turns, I don't want to make another freaking video. I know I've got it. With this team has it within them that we could be able to finish this within four turns. We could finish it off in this rotation, dude. And then, dude, this friend GT duo has come in clutch, dude. Uh, just freaking launching super attacks and then doing crits. I think 
although it only did three super attacks, I wish it did one more, but it, it did it did more than enough damage to for the what's it called the Majibo duo to freaking I mean I wonder if we didn't even finish because uh just a spoiler alert, the Majibo duo get the job done because dude look at that eleven mil dude. Look at it, look at that number, dude. Um uh, but I wish I, I was able to do uh, more super attacks with them because uh if you don't know, they increase their chance of doing a critical hit with with uh, I think with each super attack launch up to 10 10 percent uh, uh no each super attack launch they launch they increase their chances of doing a uh, critical hit 10 percent and it goes up to 50 percent and then yeah uh dude <laughs> all three of these super attacks we didn't even do a what's gonna call a critical hit but whatever thankfully um we got the second super attack which I think I don't know what I think is it a great chance to do an additional super attack uh within that thing I'm trying to find the thing in Mijiki over here real quickly before I end up the video but uh yeah launch an additional attack oh that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when key is 18 or more got you and then launch an additional super attack when key is uh 24 which we did and thankfully that got us the win there but yeah uh guys that's gonna do it for me guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video guys just to you know be clear with you guys i com i completed both of these missions uh or all of these missions literally on saying day as i pulled the vegeta and whatnot but i'm just you know recording it uh, or publishing it later because of spoiler or whatnot because of the freaking my first uh the abc missions of me pulling the vegeta and bringing it on the team i i, I totally forgot that dude jesus christ but you know what at least you guys got the Do dokkan all stars rate video to uh show up but yeah that's gonna do it for me guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and i'll see y'all on the next one peace out everyone